and welcome back to the kingdom. I'm the Duke, also known as the Dukeinator, and this is Valheim Mistlands. It's a Let's Build series where you join me on a journey where we build basically a kingdom. Um, I'm just going to show you some of the changes that I've made. It's probably a theme that you will see a lot from me in my building videos, that at the end of a video, um, it usually seems like I'm finished, but it's not. There's usually a lot of decoration and stuff and things that goes on later on. For instance, um, in this portal room that goes to my outpost, you will see I've added a little bit of extra wooden beams there at the top as part of this artwork against the wall, just to break the wall up a little bit. Uh, and then also uh, the same type of thing on this side just adding a little bit of more wood wooden beams just to break the stone wall also to give it a little bit more personality and you will see the biomes one uses a lot of different styles in terms of um, some decorations and stuff that I've added and each room has a different roof as well. And then the latest one is the one for the bosses, where you will see that uh, it's not 100% complete just of yet, but also it looks quite different. So I've got a teleporter that goes to the first boss, the Ichthia boss. Then uh, another one goes to the second one, the Elder. And as you can see, I hang their trophy heads above each one. The next one is going to be Bone Mass, is the next boss I'm going to take on. And then Murder. And then Yagluf, and the last one is the Queen. As you can see, there's also some special windows in this one. Thanks to the mod that I've installed. And in the background, you will see it's uh, small arches with windows in them. Basically like this one. So, today we're going to uh, continue building. Uh, in the previous video, we took a little bit of a break and went on an adventure looking for obsidian and uh, also found some silver. But we are preparing to take on the next boss, which is Bone Mass. And um, the thought com came to me that uh, not only do I need to prepare some potions, but some food as well. But I have to run back every time to my starter base for the food. And I decided, well, Today, let's build the kitchen area. And I was thinking maybe in that area. Now you'll also see that I've put up a temporary stone wall all around the base, the main base. It's temporary because it will probably expand as the base expands. The reason for that is I've had a lot of raids uh, and every time it has been trolls. And they are just breaking down everything. As you can see, the tree is here. So I'm losing um, some decorations, natural decorations. I can, of course, replace the trees by planting new ones, but, but still. And then down here, you will see I have uh, changed my smelter factory as well. I've added these stairs coming down. And I've built some arches behind the smelters and added some banners hanging from their sides. And then on the other side, I've constructed the sort of um, pillars with the wooden beams at the top. And then I've placed these massive tower shields bit on, on each of the pillars. So it's, it's ever changing, ever evolving. I keep adding stuff and decorations as I go on. Because I am i don't work out the building exactly before the time. I build and then my brain starts thinking about what I can add and how I can improve it. Um, as you can see, I've worked a little bit on the docks as well. But that, this is also still far from finished. So I keep adding stuff and uh, decorations and the sort. And... Um, Today we are going to focus on the kitchen, but first I'm going to build a, what will we call it, a trophy walkway. 
And then coming out of that, I was thinking of building the kitchen over on this side. It's then close to the produce farm. It's close enough, hopefully, to the storage. And um, yeah, the living quarters is probably also going to have to be somewhere on this side, maybe. So that's what we're going to do. So I am so glad you joined me. But uh, now it's time to uh, take a coffee or a tea or cold drink or whatever you have available. Just sit back, relax and uh, let's enjoy the build.
It is the morning after just another troll raid and uh, I just realized I also forgot to unpause my recording while I was still building. But uh, I had two trolls coming in here and smashing things down and uh, it's actually getting ridiculous in terms of the amount of troll raids I'm getting at the moment. So just to give you a little bit of perspective um this is the leather that i currently have that's the deer hide and this is the troll hide and basically i get 20 troll hide every time i kill the two trolls so it's it's really almost constant that i'm bombarded with the troll raids and i think it's it's not a problem dealing with them but um I just don't like how they keep smashing everything uh, to pieces and to bits. So I can't actually wait or get to bone mass soon enough. Hopefully then the rates will change a little bit. Um, I did have one raid from the swamp, but uh, yeah, so far it's only been uh, trolls the whole time. So what you might have missed is that I actually started building the roof as well. I'm not sure where I paused it. Um, I've got this extension at the back that you will see is going to be a huge part of the storage. I've got some big windows, which you can only see when you're on this side of the storage. I might have to uh, broaden this, this part a little bit um, now that I have a look at it. So yeah, currently I'm build uh, busy building with the roof, trying to get that up. And um, so let's continue.
things for you. And here we go again. I haven't uh, gone two days without another raid. And of course the ground is shaking so it is trolls again. Surprise surprise. Let's take care of them and uh, see how far we get.
Okay, we're going to stop there for this moment. Um, as you can see, I still have uh, a lot of things to actually finish with the, my kitchen. Um, and some repairs to do as well by the looks of it. The trolls have really taken their toll on the building so far. But you can see as you come in, you're going to have these six fermenters, uh, three on each side as you come in. Then over on this side, I'm going to have my cauldron with all its upgrades in this little space. And then I've got four chests here. Uh, one for stamina food, one for health food, one for the balanced food, which gives equal amounts of stamina and food. And then the last one is for the new Mistlands uh, magic foods. And then on this side, I've got my potions, three chests for them. I've got my fires over here where I can basically uh, grill or cook by uh, uh, spit rather your meat and I'm gonna have um, storage for all the meat and fish over on this wall then over here I have normal storage for all the other food items like the vegetables the berries um, and all that stuff that you can gather I still have to do the last row at the top and as you can see this nice little big window with a nice view to the outside of the island across the stream as well as my produce farm that's over on that side and then lastly in on, on this corner i have three spaces where i'm going to place my ovens as soon as i can craft them they are basically going in there but i need the artisan table for that and then also i've got place for storage uh, for all the dough and stuff that is going to be made with the ovens. So that's it going to be for the kitchen, basically. But as you can see, I still have a lot of to do. I need to uh, place all the last chests and stuff. And I need some resources for them as well. Now, if you're wondering in terms of what I've done here, um, basically you can see it's a lot of small arches. And if I wanted to, I can use this small wooden pole and just place it there and then a vertical item stand that I can put on it. And then all the trophy hits that I gather, I can mount up here. You don't even need this little uh, wooden uh, spot over there, you can just put it up at the, at the top in the middle as well um, but this way I found it actually shows a little bit better because it's the the trophy is going to be basically in the middle of the arch so that's it for this episode I hope you liked it uh, we still have some work to do on the kitchen but uh, we will get to that in the next episode and hopefully not just finish the kitchen but also go and take on bone mass so thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell icon that will give you any notifications of new episodes. And I hope to see you next time in the next one. Enjoy.